Hello everyone, I'm back with Brilliant Earth talking about my favorite thing, rings. Um, specifically today, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about wedding bands. I have an array of contoured bands for us to talk about, which means usually that the ring has a slight curve to it. Um, you know, these contoured bands were created so that they'll sit a little bit closer to your ring or to maybe, you know, change up the style a little bit. I personally prefer a contoured band over a straight band, but you know, that's one thing. Um, we can kind of go over some of the differences when we start talking about them. As a preview, here are all the beautiful rings I have for us today. Um, our, our base ring is going to be the Elodie. And this Elodie set with a 1.25 carat round and it's in white gold. So keep that in mind when we're, you know, talking about these different rings. I chose the LED specifically because it has the slightest little bump at the base um, because it has an azure hole. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick. You'll be able to see the prongs create this little tiny bump right there. So a wedding band won't sit perfectly next to it. There'll be the tiniest little gap. Um, so in order to avoid that, people a lot of the times will do a slightly curved band um, to create a more flush look. So um, I'll show you the LED one more time before we kind of talk a little bit more about the wedding bands that I have. So once again, this is the LED, super classic. I wanted to create, you know, give us something really simple to build off of um, so that we can talk about it a little bit more. Some of the rings I have here are a little bit more luxe. Um, so to kind of start us off, um, one of our um, really popular curved rings is called the Flare. It has a chevron pattern um, and its sister ring, which is plain with no diamonds, is also called the chevron. So. That's the flare right here. Nice dainty band. But still you can see you get a lot of sparkle even if it's dainty. And then how that pairs with the LED engagement ring, it creates just enough of a divot where it'll sit nice and flush. And then if they wiggle around on my finger, it's because they're too big for me. Um, the ring, our sample rings are a size six and I'm about a size 4.75, five on a hot day. So that's how it looks together. I really love a solitaire band with a diamond band. I think it looks so pretty. It really creates a lot of contrast, but you know, double diamond is never bad either. So there's that. You can see how it's accommodating for that little bump right there because of the azure hole through that curve. And one reason I really like the flare specifically is because this might not, might, if you're getting married soon, this might not be something that you think about, but I bring it up to a lot of people is some people stop wearing their engagement ring down the line based on their activities that they're doing or, you know, just day-to-day -day life, things get crazy. Um, so a lot of people choose to just wear their wedding band. I really like the look of this because it looks so pretty on its own. It looks really intentional. I would wear this by itself, even if it wasn't for a wedding band. Um, so it does a really good job about, you know, fitting well with something like this and standing on its own. So we'll give that one more go around. This is one of my personal favorite combos. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to switch it up a little bit um, to the Stanza ring. So this is a newer one of our contoured bands, um, and it specifically has a different type of curve to accommodate, you know, depending on your center stone. So, you know, let's say you have a larger center stone where it just totally covers that curve up and you want like the diamonds to kind of wrap around your center stone, then something like this might be a little bit better. 
If you have more of an oval shape, that could be a little bit better because it has more of that U grace, graceful curve. Um, so I'm gonna pop it on top to start and then we'll pop it on bottom. So you'll see this one has a little bit of a gap between the diamond and this band. So, you know, if it's more ovular, if it's slightly bigger, if you want to create that really elongated look, that'll be nice together. And they are like sliding around on my finger a lot. So I'm sorry about that. And this fun part about stacking bands is that you can do lots of fun things. I love when they like kind of come to points on top and bottom. And then I'm gonna switch the stanza to the bottom and put the flare away so you guys can see this. Um, a lot of people also ask me, am I supposed to wear my wedding band on top or bottom? Great question. Traditionally, it's worn on the bottom, said to be closer to your heart. I once read that, um, an ancient culture believed that there was a vein in your left finger that led directly to your heart. So those, that once again is the stanza. A little bit deeper and more curvy of a contoured band. Awesome, and then let's switch it up. I'm gonna show you guys a gapped ring now. Um, not official terminology, that's kind of what I call it because it's easier to explain it that way. And it's literally a ring that has a gap in it. This is a really good way to get around, um, you know, having a curve kind of come out if you want it to look really flush. Because what it'll do is if you have, you know, thick prongs at the base, if you have an azure hole, you know, most rings aren't gonna sit perfectly flush with a wedding band. So if you do something like this, kind of as a sneaky way to make it look super flush. If you look at it from afar, you don't even see the gap. The center stone is totally covering it. Where'd the gap go? I don't know. If you see it, you can see it there now. So that's a really nice way to do it. And you know, sometimes you can even have them soldered together so that, you know, it stays in place. So this is called the Sia. And there's a couple different versions of these gapped rings as well. There's one that has no diamonds on it. There's one that is plain metal and then has two diamonds on it and kind of the reverse where it has two diamonds and then little diamonds as well. So once again, this is the Sia. We'll go over them one more time at the end though. All righty, let's transition. Okay, next I have the crescent for us. The crescent is a plain metal band up until this little U right here with these prong set diamonds. So it has a nice little curve. It almost acts as like a half halo when it's paired with a ring. So it's a really fun addition. Um, I really like these on top and bottom. Um, but I also like a lot of sparkle. Um, you all obviously can do just one as well. So let's go ahead and throw those on together. It's really cute. And then we also have a, a similar sister ring to this that's called the lunette. And that dips a little bit further. It's a little bit more U of a dip and has a pear accent stone. So it kind of comes a little bit more to a point. So, you know, from afar, it doesn't change it too much, but as you get up close, you get that little extra bling bling at the bottom. Oh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and change up. I saved my personal favorite for last. Um, if I was getting married, this is something that I would love. Um, this is called the Lucia. The diamonds on the Lucia are gonna be a little bit bigger. And they have this really beautiful curvature toward it. So zoom in for you guys. And then it really sweeps around the, the stone a little bit more. It would be prettier if it was fitted to my ring size. Not so slow, sloppy. And once again, something like this on top and bottom would be really pretty. It has a lot, like a good effect from afar too, if we're looking at it like this. Like it's still, you know, it's very dramatic. Another fun thing about, you know, curved bands is that, you know, you can create this really unique look as you combine them. So like, let's say we leave the, the Lucia on with the Elodie right now, and then we throw on, I don't know, the Sia and the Flare. We'll just work with what we have. And then you like can create this totally unique pairing. And there's like a million different combinations. So here we have the Lucia, the Elodie, the Sia, and the Flair, top to bottom, or excuse me, bottom to top. Okay, let's take a look at them one more time. We have the Lucia here. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw on the Sia on my middle finger. So the Sia is the one with the gap. Also a fun ring by itself. We have the flare. And then of course we had our LED ring. We had the crescent and the stanza. So, crescent stanza. So these are what we call contoured bands. Usually it means there's some kind of curvature that goes around with them. Um, you know, they're really, really gorgeous alone. They're gorgeous paired together. Kind of depends on, you know, your personal preferences. Um, you know, you can also add down the line. I love the thought of, you know, getting an anniversary band down the line or having some significant um, ring tied to, you know, a really important life event. Um, these rings symbolize really important life events usually. So tying them together is also awesome. Awesome. Let's go through them one more time. I keep saying that. I just like don't want to don't want to end. I keep want to show you pretty rings. Um, so let's do another stack. We'll go crescent first. We'll go Sia. So kind of doing the diamond and the curved band. Then we'll go Elodie. This actually works really nicely because this specific 1.25 carat was like really close to this crescent based on the size, it's kind of overhanging on it a little bit. So the, the Sia right here actually allowed it to, you can see it a little bit more now. And then you have a diamond band in the middle, which is lovely. And then let's go flare on top and kind of keep it consistent because now it goes kind of plain metal diamond, plain metal diamond. The art of stacking is really intense. So there we have a really pretty stack. And like, of course, I did this so quick and this is, I have six rings with me and even within the six rings, there's so many combinations. So you have a lot. All right. Thank you guys so much for chatting about contour bands with me. We'll be back next week to kind of talk a little bit more um, about, you know, some of my, my favorite styles and we can 
you can go through that. If you have any suggestions, please let us know. Um, and if you have any specific questions about like one specific ring, um, please reach out to us via like chat or phone um, so that we can, you know, get to additional pictures or anything like that. All right. Thanks, guys.